In the picture she posted on Facebook, State Representative Janelle Bynum smiles with a sheriff's deputy in the background. But today she made it clear it was no fun when the deputy asked what she was doing last night. You know, I stick out, right? Um, and I'm okay with that. I think, um, I think it's wonderful that this area um, found, it, uh, found it within itself to elect me. Today Bynum took part in the Happy Valley 4th of July parade. Last night, she was working this neighborhood, knocking on doors of her voters, and someone called police, worried she was looking for things to steal. Bynum said she was jotting notes in her phone to remember the specific concerns of voters. I hope that I can be a voice for, for people who look different from the mainstream, but I mean, honestly, I, I live in this neighborhood. I feel like I should be able to walk anywhere I want. Um, without being second guessed, and my kids should be able to do that too. Neighbors I met today can't believe it's happened. Margaret Sabins lived here 40 years. Yes, definitely, I, I don't understand that at all. Barbara Chilton says it's a diverse neighborhood. She seems like a great lady. Unfortunately, I missed her when she came to my door. I was not home, and I'm, I'm sorry that happened. It, it shouldn't happen. But Bynum is not the only politician to experience this in the greater Happy Valley Clackamas area. Joe Buck is a white politician and part of the Lake Oswego City Council. Two months ago, he was also knocking on doors in the same general area as he ran for Metro Council. Well, I was canvassing door-to-door uh, -door out in Happy Valley. Uh, a neighbor out there called uh, the sheriff. Buck explained what he was doing and the deputy left, but it gave him a new awareness of the fear that some homeowners feel. It's a shame that you know, just walking on a sidewalk and going up and knocking on someone's front door would raise such suspicion that someone feels the, such a fear that they have to call the, the, the police in. By the way, politicians do not need a permit to go door to door in the neighborhoods, but you do need one if you're trying to sell something. And each of the politicians told me that was the one thing a deputy asked them when they rolled up, whether they were selling something. Back to you.